Hi, I'm Joe, and without David, because he didn't see these either of these two movies, thank God, but I'm going to do quick reviews of Tag and Jurassic World. Two movies that I was actually looking forward to, and um, a little disappointed. Not, you know, I didn't hate either of these two movies. These are just movies that I think you could maybe either skip or only watch for certain certain situations or reasons. I'm going to start with Tag, and then I'm going to jump into Jurassic World. Um, starting with Tag, uh, this is a comedy um, starring Ed Helms and uh, Jeremy Renner, a few other comedians, uh, Hannibal Burris. Um, so some good talent in this movie, and all of them do really well. Uh, there's a few like really funny scenes in this movie, but most of the time it was just light chuckles. Uh, I had a really big problem with the... I guess the way they play this game of tag. If you don't know, tag is a movie about a group of friends who play tag for 30 years of their life. Every May of every year, the friend group gets together and they play tag again to try to stay friends. But one of them, Jeremy Renner's character, has never been tagged before. So this time around, this is their last chance because he's quitting. So they've, they, they've got to tag him. This is the time they're going to do it. But he is the greatest tag player of all time. And he will stop at nothing. <laughs> To make sure his friends don't tag him. Like building huge death booby traps in a forest. And luring their friends in there. And, and creating fog all around and hitting them with trees. <laughs> like, And so it kind of takes me out of it. Because I'm like, no. <laughs> no. This wouldn't happen. And I get that that's part of the what's supposed to make it funny. But there will be certain things this man does. He hits his friend with a fire extinguisher at some point. You know, like, the, I don't understand how these friends are okay with this, but I guess that's that's supposed to be part of the enjoyment. And I guess if you turn your brain off of 110%, then then that could that can be something that's enjoyable. But, you know, I, I didn't hate it. I laughed. I laughed, a, you know, every few scenes, just not as hard as I want it to. And I don't think they had the emotional kick that they wanted it to have near the end. No, no problem with the actors or directing. I think it was just a just part of the story just not a comedy that that really gets me um but anyway that's what i thought of tag i'd probably rate it a three out of six um if we're going by uh, my rating so it's pretty average but if you're you know itching for a comedy this is one of the only ones that are out now i would still say go see incredibles too because you probably laugh a little harder but uh but yeah um, i'm gonna jump into jurassic world which is the well this is jurassic world 2 Fallen Kingdom, which is a sequel to the first Jurassic World, which is also a sequel to Jurassic Park in that whole trilogy. Um, the first Jurassic World I actually really liked. Uh, I, I've heard some mixed things about it, but um, I wasn't a huge fan of Jurassic Park. I didn't watch it when I was super young. I, I waited and actually watched it when I was a little older. So, uh, you know, I didn't grow up with the series or anything. But going into... Jurassic World 1, you know, I went into it very open-minded because I didn't care about the series too much. And I, f I found it really enjoyable. The second one, I went into it with pretty high expectations just because I thought the first one was really good. And it was a little disappointing in the sense that, you know, I didn't... I already said I didn't grow up with Jurassic Park, the first one. But this movie has a lot of callbacks to that movie. Like, a lot of callbacks. And I, I get the whole, you know, rekindling... The spirit of the original film that a lot of movies try to do but I feel like they try to do that in the first one and it worked so I thought that was going to be the end of like the fan service like we did it a lot in the first movie kind of like Star Wars The Force Awakens was a lot of fan service you know for the old Star Wars movies and then the second one was just making people mad <laughs> so this one was a lot of uh, of making people mad but with with fan service they do a lot of the same you know, music and, and poses that some of the dinosaurs will make. They, And I wouldn't mention that if they didn't do it a lot. They do it like three times where they do the exact kind of same scene from the first one, just with the new characters. I thought that was just just a little lazy. Um, but I mean, all the actors in it do great. Bryce Dallas Howard um, and Chris Pratt still make an awesome pair. I liked watching them run away from dinosaurs in the first one. I like watching them run away from dinosaurs in this one. I just kind of wish that there was more dinosaurs in the movie.
I think Transformers has the same problem where there's not a lot of Transformers and a lot of government government issues and problems. This one has a lot of government issues and problems, and then there's some dinosaurs in there that do stuff sometimes. But that's the best part of the movie. But, you know, I mean, if, if you did like the other Jurassic Park movies, uh, maybe uh, I'd, I'd watch those again. <laughs> but if you really like Jurassic World, then, I mean, you probably like this one, too. I think this kind of has the same issue that Transformers have, in my opinion, the Transformers movies, where I go to see a Transformers movie because I want to see cars transform into giant robots and fight stuff. And that's awesome. But what I usually get is a whole bunch of government mumbo jumbo about, you know, corrupt men in suits, you know, just trying to trying to use these these things for their own benefit. And I went into the Jurassic World movie wanting to see big prehistoric monsters fight each other. And what I got was these government agencies doing a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo men in suits trying to use these things for their own benefit. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it, it's a lot of the movie too. Like, a lot of the movie. Like, I, I would say almost half <laughs> of the movie is dedicated to the, these people that I, I really don't care about. <laughs> it just... I'd probably give this one the same as Tag, which is why I'm doing them in the same video. I'd give them both a 3 out of 6. I think they're both, uh, you know, good, serviceable. But um, I'd see Incredibles 2 over both of them. Maybe see Incredibles 2 twice <laughs> instead of watching both of these. I don't know. Do whatever you want. There's one scene that I just wish the rest of the movie kind of lived up to. It's around the end of the first act, and it was really, really emotional. One of the most emotional scenes that I've seen in any movie this year. And it just, like, if the whole movie was like that and had that level of emotion and then got rid of the government people, or maybe, like, lowered them to maybe five to ten minutes of screen time and just focused on what this scene focused on. It's, if you're wondering what it is, I'm sure you'll know when you see the movie, but it's kind of after Chris Pratt's character and Bryce Dallas Howard's character leave the island initially. Now they go to the island, try to save these dinosaurs when they're leaving. It's a scene that's really super emotional and, and I was almost tearing up and I never do that. But I just, I just wish the whole rest of the movie was like this um, because I think it would have been, it probably would have been like up there with Jurassic Park 1 and 2. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, that was my review of Tag and Jurassic World. Um, if you've seen them and you disagree, let me know in the comments um, if you're looking forward to the next Jurassic World because they are going to make a third one. Um, then Then let me know that too. All right.